Greetings fellow stargazers and astrophotographers. I'm Sean Nielsen of VisibleDark.ca and in this quick tip tutorial we're going to look at the star mask but specifically um, how to make adjustments to the star mask where it's maybe after it's been generated it includes uh, parts of the image that you don't want to uh, be affected so you need to somehow adjust the uh, star mask and make it that um, only the stars are the ones that you're going to be working on. So this is something that I struggled with and um, I, I, this technique um, ends up working pretty good. It's not the only way to do this of course uh, um, but this is one way to do it and it's uh, an effective way and it's not that uh, difficult once you uh, once you figure it out it becomes second nature. Um, something that I struggled with in uh, Pix and Sight in particular was if you go to process mask generation and star mask um, we leave it at the defaults and click apply it'll create a star mask for us uh, of, based on the image that we have and the one thing that I struggled with was when I needed to take out parts of that mask um, in other words the star mass that was created um, in this case here as we'll see includes uh, some of the galaxy and we don't necessarily want the galaxies to be included in our star mass we just want the stars uh, because that's the that's the part of the image that I want to work on so something I struggled with was how to how to remove those and um, one way to do it is painting it out and uh, that works great if you apply my technique uh, however it won't work unless you know a specific way to do it so we have our star mask created and if we go to process painting clone stamp and activate the clone stamp tool um, you'll notice that if you control click on it um, and start painting the clone stamp tool also paints in additional stars it's the the point source that it's using is also it's not only seeing the black but it's seeing the white points as well which are the stars and and we're effectively painting stars in to where our galaxy was and we don't want that um, because those stars aren't part of the image they're ones that we've uh, created uh, unnaturally artificially um, so how do you paint just black only without uh, having any of the white um, effect where you're painting and what you're painting? Well, that's not so hard to do if we just uh, reset things here. Okay, so we're back to our galaxies being in the image. So if we want to paint just black, what I've done is I've created a black mat and this black mat um, was created in Photoshop and it's um, it's just a black image saved as a TIFF file and I, I import that into PixInsight. Um, what this gives me is a point source of pure black entirely um, to paint from without being affected by any white. And in order to do that um, we go to our clone stamp tool and find a background area on your star mask click control so hit control and click and then we want to go over to the black mat and we don't want to click we can we don't want to control click we just want to click so if we simply click on an area of the black mat you'll notice that when I come back to the star mask my source point has moved from the star mask to the black mat and I can now paint only black with no white stars being in there at all it's just pure black and what we're doing is we're now painting out the galaxy part of the mask and protecting the, the, the galaxy um, so that when we do our work on the stars none of the galaxy will be uh, affected as well one thing you might notice though if we uh, move over in the image here is that your point source uh, drifts off of the uh, black mat and you need to readjust that just by clicking again on an area of the black mat and, um, and then you can start painting on this uh, particular part of the star mask as well um, so 
just something to remember there. Uh, sometimes when you're moving around, it'll drift off and you just got to reposition it simply by clicking again somewhere else on the black mat, um, somewhere that allows it to be in, uh, uh, in sync with uh, what you're painting on the uh, star mask. Um, so when this is all said and done, uh, we can apply it now. And our star mask, if we place it on our image, we will notice that um, only the stars are, are unprotected. So we can work on those. We can do some saturation to them or we can uh, tighten them up a bit, uh, whatever that we felt like doing. Uh, but any of the work that we do on the stars, none of the galaxy will be, will be affected. And that's... Uh, that's a very uh, useful uh, thing when uh, you're dealing with star masks and they include other parts of the uh, image that you don't want included. So there's a quick tip, a uh, quick uh, technique for you to paint out areas of the star mask in order to um, remove parts of it that uh, you don't want included. I hope you found this useful and I hope it's something that you can include in your PixInsight workflow. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, I always uh, enjoy seeing people that have uh, benefited from some of my uh, videos and uh, I appreciate uh, any likes or any subscribes that uh, you can do. And um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, by all means, uh, leave them in the section below and uh, I'll do my best uh, to uh, respond as I, uh, as I can. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Clear skies and keep looking up.